Hey Muslim Strength, it's your boy Nathan Diasha, aka The Prophecy. You catch him eating at my home, we're gonna do a full day in the life of me. Um, right now is meal one for me, and it's roughly eight o'clock. So, as everyone knows, I refuse to eat oats because I eat that on my diet. So right now we've got a bit of this, a bit of granola, Kellogg's, a little bit of chocolate, almond milk because I can't bother eating yogurt to be honest today, and steak, roughly 220 grams of steak. You guys know I said last time, it's not raw, it's not organic, it's just as the zone steak. And our Kellogg's granola. Go on then. This now is meal two. It's 300 grams of microwave rice and then uh, 200 grams of chicken. I make all meals like this because I don't see the point in eating boiled rice, boiled rice and white chicken. You know, you can make a diet chicken and a healthy chicken, anything from the ground, any herbs, coriander. Doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be boring, you know? So you can't smell it. Well, as Rebecca would say, it smells absolutely lovely. So guys, what we have here is um, my lunchbox prep. Um, guys have fortunately helped me out while I'm here in the UK. As you can see, you know, you're looking, everything's prepped, prepared. Makes it even easier for you, really. Peppers and onions and stuff like that. And we have chicken. This chicken needs to cold. Put in the microwave for two minutes, so you put in the frying pan if you want to add a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more sexy to it, you know. The flavour is Cajun chicken. Then we have the steak. Well, that's, that's mince, steak mince, that one today. Yeah, beef mince, vegeta flavour. That's good, you put a bit of um, bit of rice with it in a wrap, it's sound. For me right now, I'm with the chicken thighs, just because it's lots of to eat. Um, I don't prep, it's chicken breast, chicken breast, and it gets dry and bored, and so chicken thighs are the one. Again, pity pity thighs. Last but not least is um, Cajun chicken mince. This is roughly, each pack's a kilo. This is look, probably gonna last me, I'd say, two days, three days. Eating wise, I'm getting in, I'd say six meals a day, post-workout shake. For me, that consists of one scoop of protein, um, creatine, glutamine, two scoops of Otago right now, um, and one full Gatorade. That's my post-workout shake, and then, one hour later, then I'll eat my mass building meal, which I prepped before, and then um, Chantal will make later. About 200, I think, roughly. If it's 190, it's 190. Doesn't matter. <laughs> this is what I cook, it's just easy, simple, and efficient, really. This, and then obviously, microwave rice. Easy meal in five, in five minutes. I've like before, this meal, again, 200 chicken, 300 white rice, bit of the E. coli and hot sauce, and then that's it really. Fridays a day, is leg day. You hate it when it's leading up to it, but then when you're through it, you're buzzing, but you just, you just can't be asked starting. Oh, it's leg day. Whoever says they, oh yeah, I love leg day, I'm looking forward to it. Not training legs properly. I don't, I don't give a fuck who you are, not training them properly. Because today, I'm like, oh, it's legs. When it started, 
I like it, but then I'm absolutely fucked after it. And you'll see later on where I'm, I'm literally on my ass and dead. So guys, as you can see, this is my mash build meal. 225, beef, medium, 150 potato, and then about 125 or 150 rice. Obviously, this is me, keep it plain, keep it simple. So, back at the stocks then, what to do with my medals? I said, look, they're either in the garage, in the storage unit, or even just there, like the Arnold ones there. They're just all chucked in. I have uh, no reason to have them on show, and you know, probably back down there. Um, Frig no one broke somewhere in the back or upstairs, or in, in, in by the boiler. I have no reason to keep them all because in the day, it's a medal. You know, material things don't really mean that much. It's a, uh, you know you've done it. It's the achievement in itself, I think. So knowing you've done it is the main thing that I know I've won the show. So medal's a medal, it is what it is. I'll never sell them or nothing, but it's like you know, even one day by won the Olympia, I'll just put the sun down under, under a pair of shorts. It's no reason to have it out and look what I've done, look what I've achieved. You know what you've done yourself and you know, it's self-worth. That's what it's about really for me. Again guys, keeping it simple. My lunchbox prep. Ever in the UK, get on them. Next day delivery. Absolutely awesome. And it's a kilo, each bag's a kilo, so I took a five meals out of it. The, the chicken's already cooked, so you won't lose no weight off it. And obviously, if there's any left over, I'll put it in the plate and then put it in the microwave. Meal five and six will be the same. 200 of chicken and then 300 grams of white rice. It's just easy and efficient. But if it's if I'm running late, you know, like my last meal is normally 11 o'clock or 10:30. If I'm running late because I've been to football or the kids have done something or we need to go somewhere, meal six could be like you know, uh, 125 grams of granola, roughly two scoops of protein. Um, say maybe 80 grams of yogurt and then 100 grams of fruit. I mix it up, I eat it like quick, save the cooking, it saves the arse around and I can just chow it as I'm walking around or I can chow it, whatever I'm doing, you know, if I'm in the bath, I can just eat it there and it's just done. Done, just and quick. So that's my go-to really, even ever running late. guys liked it you know you subscribe to muscles and strength you share this video you like this video tell a friend if you want to see more about myself Nathan and Asher, you know go to my YouTube channel go to my Instagram you go to YouTube make sure you sign again you subscribe to it you tell a friend there's some funny content out there but until next time hopefully get to do this again soon see you guys soon peace